All right, it's mortar time. Third tower, I'm gonna do glue. So we can, uh, yeah, we got options. Got the boat for, uh, what do you call it? Merchamenico Trade Empire. Mortar for late game damage. I wonder if it's worth it going for um, uh, Striker Jones first. 10 Pierce. Let's put it on close. Did you just hear mortar for late game? Yes. Yes, yes you did. Yes you did. Again, we don't know yet because we haven't seen it in action. But if they buff it, like the middle path to give bad damage then, we gotta see if it works, right? Again, every time I've said this, not, not a single game goes past round 20. You gotta try like, give it like 10 attempts with the strategy. The thing is, uh, I know you have to micro the more to do the most damage, but I feel like on time to time, you can put it in this triangle and it will get damage on all the bads. I know it's like not the entire map, but it's a good place we can kind of lock into place and it will do a, a decent job. Again, in theory, we do have like Carrier Flagship, Aircraft Carrier plus Blue Storm if we need more bad damage. Also, Sandstime is so clean with Cannon Ship. You can just full eco. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. Looking good. I wonder if I should go full yellow, so should I back out for like a Merchant Man? Again, in case of an all out, I don't want to risk over greeting and then dying round 13. You never know with these top 100 farm players. They'll do anything it takes to win, even this early in the season. I think here's what I'll do. I'll do a couple of yellows to force upgrades, and then I'll stop early. And then I'll get my Merch, merch Man for round 8. I think it'll be fine with the extra darling gun. So, on that note, let's go to 750 and then stop. Back to blacks, early. Yeah, this way I'm still able to afford another merchant. Nice. Bit of greed there. I think this this definitely goes a long way in case like they do all out. That's an extra 2k I can use to defend. And now we go zebras to force uh, dartling upgrades, I think. Now, since I don't have ice tower, I have to go for a D camo and top path shell shock. Which is a bit expensive, but that's okay. I don't mind splurging a little bit. So there's my uh, soon to be uh, Bernie stuff Sino Flare. And then this will be my uh, Shell Shock. Send Zebras out. There's his Hydra Rocket. Yep. If I send more balloons out, I could have forced a boost. It's okay. I want to play this game safe. 1150 Eco, round 12. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Looking good. I'll start my Shell Shock all the way at the front, by the way, so I can micro it. If he goes for a bigger rush. I should probably not let Purple Dolphin greet so hard, so let's send a couple of balloons out. Like that. Again, just to force upgrades out. Nothing too sketchy. Probably should send Black Balloons earlier. It's okay. Let's do a uh, rush now. Balloons. Uh, lots of balloons, lots of balloons, lots of balloons. He used Totem, so he's fine here, right? Yeah, he's good. I don't, I don't know if it's really worth, you know, <laughs> getting to use a freaking ability for all that, but I didn't regret any of them, so... I don't really lose too much from sending it, I feel like. For round 18, I wonder if they go for FMO apps. I'm gonna get an extra boat in case upgrade the Destroyer. If it comes out. I might do the same thing against him. Darling requires a lot of defense for round 18. Let's see, uh, I'll, send, I'll send one out. You can see it coming from a mile away. Spack three time. He doesn't have enough time to build spikes if he buys it that late, right? No shot. No shot. I'm gonna send zebras underneath. This will definitely uh get in the way. Boost. You'll probably have to boost here. Bet. Bet. No? Damn, spike balls OP. Alright. Again, consider the zebras eco. I can try an FBFB, but not yet. I'm gonna wait till round 22. Or no, no, now, because you can get Wall Street. Or I can do... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait next round, because the thing is, I need to stop equaling for a while to do this. And I don't want to do that. And then, let's send two BFBs, why not? This should slow things down enough. I don't want to send Zoom to yeah, because he had, she has Hex. Or, Vasily has Hex. It's a bad idea. They, they just one-shot the ZMG inside. And your rush is gone. So I think BFBs are better. That way, see, he had to buy so much defense. 
Let's send some zebras underneath too. Yeah. Again, it says eco. It also blocks. Uh, did he mean to go Bonaparte's factory? All right, fine. Fair. Looked like he died on my side, but okay. There's been a central. Dang. Still got the round 20 central. So now we go for a trade empire with this money. A trade freaking empire. And I gotta start building boat farms. So seven boats. And then three up there equals nine. Ten. Ten merchantmen. Army. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Again, this doubles as mob damage. So I can just sell this. Uh, get you. And then we just upgrade all these to grape shots. So we have some mob damage. Easy. Also, uh, round 28... Or round 26, we go for, uh, blue. That's how we, uh, get DDTs. Let me actually stop equaling now. This is a really good game to see if Pop and All actually works. Let's see if he goes for any DDTs. Okay, there we go. There's one. There's Super Blue, and that's it. Imagine I died to that, by the way. There's no way I died to this, right? Alright, DDT, you can pop now. It's kind of spookily... It, it keeps inching up, which scares me. But I think we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's go for Pop and Oz now, right? We are targeted, like, here, I think, gets the whole loop. I could be wrong, though. Kind of scared this may not be enough money, because if I had 10 more spots for boats, I think I'd be, uh, safe in the clear. I also kind of want to send Ceramics against, uh, Spactory. But I'm going to play defense, I think. So there's our Pop and Oz. This one I'm going to micro, but the rest of them... I should just, uh, leave it in the middle, I think. Let's see if he goes for a bad instantly. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Again, the Poppinaut buffs all the, uh, artillery, so we're hoping that does something. There we go. Nice. So let's see the damage. I'm gonna use, uh, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Don't use Poppinaut yet. I think we should use Glue Storm, right? Or is that not worth it? Eh, I'll use it. It's worth it. So, let's use four, five artilleries, all right? Five artilleries. See how good the damage is. I can't tell with the, the bad skin, by the way. Seems like utter garbage. I know I didn't combo yet, but you're not... Like, I shouldn't need a combo to beat this. Yeah, here I am, needing the combo to beat this. Let's see how pop biggest one for stuns. Oh my god, this... This is terrible. Uh, so do I boost here? Do I boost? Wait for it. Yeah, let's, uh, boost now. Wait, no, don't boost, don't boost, don't boost. Don't boost, don't boost. I'm so dead, guys. <laughs> you have no idea how dead I am. Let's wait for it, though. Alright, let's go for it now, guys. Pop Naw. I should have waited for a striker's ability, but I used it prematurely because I was scared. Either way... Let's see if without Striker ability, can we beat it? Or is it is it trash? Another mortar, by the way. More mortars. We pop one of them. Progress, but that's probably not going to be good enough. I don't think. Uh, One last go here, one last go. Boost. Come on. Artilleries. Damage. Pop. Can I place another mortar? I should probably go for... What do you call it? Uh, Hang on. Another pop and off. I'm not beating this. I'm not beating this. Alright, let's counter rush. Counter rush quickly. So I'm going to do tight DMGs and then infinite... Infinite DDTs. Please get through... Get through, get through, get through. Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. GG. 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 It's okay, I think. So, don't take that game as, like, it's trash, because, like, it's a farm user. Because, because they can just send infinite balloons, and you will not be able to defend. Yeah, 99% of those would die faster than that. Like, overall, though, it's still pop, like, what? Five bads? Uh, a bit more than that? You know what? I'm gonna try it again. I think Star's a better map for it because uh, you can get the 20x Merchman army and you can maybe get um, boats to help out the aircraft carrier, carrier flagship. 
Let's do ice for this map. Let's switch it up. All right, we got an ice tower user. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I didn't get balloons in also, but I don't think I didn't have money. Or actually, I don't know if it was if it's worth it to go balloons in. Do you guys think balloons in would be more efficient than pop not spam? Because we like could have tried that the other game, but I didn't because I I don't know. I believed in the uh, the pop and all. I don't know if I should... Uh, no, he, I think I should keep the biggest one because um, sometimes DTs might sneak through an Impale or a Super Glue. So it's not a bad play. Oh, okay. This, here's a spicy strategy I haven't seen. Boat, Ice, and Farm. Probably only works on Star because uh, such a good Ice Pot. FBI strategy, that's true. Just like the HIV. Got some nice acronyms for some of these... Uh, Tower combos there. Heli Ice Village. Now you got farm, boat, and ice. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a round uh, 8 Merchant Man, so hang on. Stop equing. Or rather, pull back. So, do Zebras get through uh, Cannon Ship and Ice? We'll see. I think I might. Good luck. I should have regrowed, actually. No, no, you just got a Zealy. Zebras are wrecking him, though. Come on, Lizard. Get something. There's Ice Shards. Cool. I will buy my own Ice Shards now. I don't think anyone will dare to rush a Shell Shock plus Ice Shards. It's it's actually a pretty good low-key, or high-key good combo. Because you slow it down for the Ice Shards to uh, proc. I don't think I see an opening for Embrittlement. It's worth trying, but... I think Totem actually does well with Ice, because it makes you shoot faster, so it's more reliable. That's one reason. Reason number two is that I want late game. Do we try a mob here? The thing is, um, the Ice Shards won't do damage if there's no balloons. So that means I have to stop equoing. And, uh, since I'm ecoing, I'm an eco player. I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. I'll just let him naturally leak lives. To random pinks, I guess. Maybe zebras, actually, for eco. Watch this, guys. This might spook him. This might spook him, yeah. See? Four stuff braids, four stuff braids. Uh, we'll send uh, one F Moab. He'll probably do one against me. Or no, okay, no. Here's one. Here's two. Good luck. I probably should have feed him balloons. The ice shards to proc. There's totem, there's a boost. Okay. We chill now, we chill. What's a good value rush against? Oh, he's going for a Wall Street. Mother fricker. I don't think I can do anything against that. I don't think. Wait, I could do zebras. What am I doing? Send rushes. Before he gets 10k up. Boost number two? No? Aw. Also, is it worth going for, like, uh... Oh, hang on. Crow's Nest. Is it worth going for a ZMG? Is he dead? Close. Ammo's OP. I'll do a ZMG to slow him down, alright? I, I don't know if it's worth it or not, but... It costs, like, 20k. And he'll sell it, which will cost him another, like, 5k or something like that. I guess why not. This guy might just die to random leaks here. I swear to god. That defense is so sketchy. There's a central, by the way. He's really risking the biscuit. He's... Yeah, okay, there's Pirate Lord. Alright, cool. Do we do Zebras? I got my train up by the way. So I think now... Yeah, we gotta spam... 20... 20 Merchant Men. 20. I think it's worth stopping Ecoing to buy the train up but I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing a couple more pinks. Why not? It's also really annoying that this update did not change how much you can see. How many Merchant Men do you have? Come on, man. That's a quality of life BTD6 thing. Is this guy really dead to Black Loons? I think the only way to tell if you're maxed out in Merchant Man is if the next boat you get does not have an icon. I'm gonna stop equoing, by the way, because round 26 is soon. And I gotta make money for an Impale. Are we at 20 yet? No. How about now? No. How about now? No. Now? Okay, no. Still space for one more. Okay, we still don't have 20 yet. What the heck? There we go. There's 20. So I sell that one because it's too much. And I can just buy Impale off the bat if he sends a balloon out. I'm excited to see how much money I can make this game. Because I have so many uh, boats. Max Triumph of Army is actually pretty close to efficiency with farms. But you gotta get 20 of them. Which we have right now. So we're starting it, it to be more efficient. He doesn't dare send ceramics against this, right? I'm actually going to do a thing. Two sets to force, like, a, a snowstorm. 
Get a snowstorm, bro. Get a snowstorm or he's dead. He dies. JK. He got snowstorm. He got snowstorm. Okay, if I can see, I pretty much maxed out everything to... Uh... Trade Empire. Or Flavor Trade. So we're good. We're, we're max money now. Anyways, there's a really good spot for Pop and Awe, Or batteries. It's literally right here. So let's get the party started, folks. Let's get the party started. We are going to need a lot of mortars. Maybe I should just start with Cure Affliction plus Brittle. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just to be safe. I don't want to... Get caught with the pants down. Like, because, like, this requires abilities so much. The artillery batteries. That I don't think it's, uh... Good to fully rely on them. Like, you see right now? Uh, let me just buy Kira Flagship. Riddle. Alright, there we go. Now we can start getting, uh... These guys. I'll go for... Another one of these, though. This. Do I use the ability for the artillery battery now, or should we just wait? I think we should wait. I think we can actually pop this down. Yeah, this is an easy kill. Easy kill with a uh, carry flagship, right? Yeah, yeah, this pops easily. Okay, I think I think this is doing the good damage. Look, hundreds. This is doing doing uh, not hundreds. All right, bruh. I thought I died to uh, the blue and tides. Maybe we need a biggest one then. That was scary. Scary. Spooky stuff, everybody. Spooky stuff. Oh, God. I need an absolute zero here. Well, how's our damage so far, guys? How's our damage? I think I'm gonna have to start selling a couple of these for aircraft carriers. I'm gonna use a couple abilities. Biggest one? Alright. Let's use another artillery battery. Another artillery battery? I'll start selling a couple of these things. Do I boost or what? Not yet, not yet. Let's actually no, let's, let's use it. Let's do it now. Do everything. Everything, guys. Everything. This should do a lot of damage. Come on. Boats. I need boat space. I need boat space. I need to just go for big stuff. Like uh in blue incineration, blue incineration. Bring it. More space for mortars over here. More space for a carrier. Come on. Another artillery. I think this is the god defense, guys. This might be what we're looking for. Up. Oh. Hang on. This might be the god defend. I'm gonna wait for a striker ability to go all in. Hang on. Don't die to the balloon insides, I swear to god. Don't die to... ZMGs and all that. Let's go now. Alright, boost. Uh... Striker ability. Popping off. I think we shred the DTs right here, folks. Or the balloons in general. Yes, okay, nice. Nice. Infinite money glitch, folks. Infinite money with Train Empire, and we get. I think we can defend the F bads. I'll even send one back at him. Boost against. Uh, we can pop this, right? We're so close to killing it. Where's our cursor? Yeah, we can pop this. We can pop this. Two left. I think he's lost all his money, so we cannot pop this, right? Let's see a little pop counts. Oh my god. That was a lot of pops. I don't know if you saw it there, but look. 94,000. He's dead. Uh, let me just make sure to snowstorm properly here. So we don't die. Boost. Okay, don't snowstorm yet. I didn't- I just boosted there. Alright, there we have it. Actual good game. Against farm. I think it only works on Star Guys, because if you don't have the 10x Trade Empire Army, it doesn't make enough money. But Bolt Mortar. Bolt Mortar. I wish we could do a thing like, uh, BT6 Review Map. Where you can see uh, how much damage the balloons did, or the towers did, because I only saw the mortars for he lost. Either way, though, even if both did the most damage, mortar helped a lot. Because there's so much land, you gotta use it, right?